911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about where is your North Star. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's content. Now, sometimes I am guilty, just as everyone else, of forgetting certain things that I have once learned that I once thought were the greatest implementations in my life at the time. And this morning, I was having a conversation with a friend And she was in bed with her headphones on, getting ready to get the kids ready for school as soon as they woke up. And so we were just going back and forth for about an hour. And it was really nice to connect with her. But during our conversation, we started to have so many what I would call like universal connections in the way of us being able to identify certain things that are existing within our lives in current time and how they were relating to the conversation that we were having. And I believe that it is all connected. Everything is connected. There's a show that Clint and I watched on Netflix called Manifest, and they kept saying that same thing over and over again. It's all connected. And that's something that is really, it sits on my heart all of the time because I believe if we're open and aware, then we can truly understand what the the meaning of that is and how it applies to our own life. And so I had another one of those connections just a little bit ago when I was catching up in my Facebook group and I read a post from somebody and I'll read it here. It says, I've learned that when I'm clear as to where I'm going, I could be more flexible in how I get there. How about you? And it reminded me of a time several years ago where I did not know where I was going because I didn't understand where I wanted to go. And I thought it was a great reminder because there was so much work and effort that went into being able to understand how that applies to your life, how that applies to my life, and how to actually start to get things done, how to actually start to move the move the needle a little bit, even if it's a little bit every single day, and how the biggest problem is a lot of the times we have no idea where we're going. And so I made mention of the North Star, and that's something something that I think is important because the North Star is is very symbolic in many ways. It's very metaphoric, but of course we know that the North Star, it actually sits right above the North Pole, and we can see this imaginary line that actually guides us. And it's this focal point that no matter where we're at in the world, we're able to identify. And when we know where the North Star is located in proximity to where we're at, and we understand where North, South, East, and West is, then no matter where we're at in the world, in the physical sense, then we're able to find our way home or we're able to find where we're going. And so when it comes to the North Star, as we're comparing it to our lives, We need to identify exactly what the thing is that we want to start aiming for, because if we don't know where that North Star is to begin with, then it's going to be impossible for us to be able to create a roadmap to get there. And so when my friend had posted that with the understanding of like the the more that I know where I'm going, the easier it is for me to get there. It's almost like us seeing a light that's far off in the distance and perhaps it's pitch dark in between us And that light, if we know that that light is where we're aiming for, it won't really matter what obstacles are in our way or how many of the unforeseen things or events are taking place as we make our way through this journey from us to where we see that light. As long as we keep going forward, that light is going to become clearer and closer the further and further that we go, if only we allow ourselves to get there. But that all starts with understanding what that light even is. And as it applied to my life, I knew that I was at this point where things just weren't where I thought that they were going to be. I was almost 30 years old and I knew that after going and getting my MBA and getting married and doing all the things that I thought I was supposed to do, I just was not happy. I wasn't living a life to where I felt fulfilled. I wasn't living a life that I thought I was going to live despite all the material things or despite the journey that I thought society had placed me on and that had I had already accomplished. And yet when I got to the end of that, it wasn't the end for me. There was something more, something so much more. And I just didn't know what that was. And it wasn't until I hired my first coach and I got very, very clear on some raw and intimate details about myself and my past. And I understood that there were some roadblocks that stood in the way. It was like this giant wall that I didn't know existed between me and that bright light shining in the distance. And Once I was able to take that block wall, like brick after brick, literally, I'm talking pain, sweat, tears, vulnerability, arguments, very difficult discussions, 
long hours, like putting in the actual work, the the things that I had never done before, the adult learning that I had never given my myself the permission to do. It wasn't until I broke down that wall brick by brick that I was finally able to start to see what that that North Star was for me. And a lot of the times we have a difficult time doing this because it's so easy and comfortable for us to give ourselves excuses for us to give excuses to other people. And when we are finally to this point, and it's usually with my clients, it comes to the point of them having a rock bottom or a breaking point or something traumatic that takes place that is this wake up call for a lot of people that reach out to me. And I know exactly what that's like because I was in that same place. And I I hate to break this to you, but a lot of the times in life, we're going to be in that same place over and over again. But once we put in the reps and we understand how to get past it the first time, it makes every time thereafter a little bit easier. And so when we get to this place where we're finally ready to commit to ourselves and we understand that it's not about our family, it's not about our higher power, it's not about other people who we have responsibilities towards, like employers, for example, it comes down to us then we finally start to see the light and we finally start to understand that it's okay for us to give ourselves permission to pour into ourselves first and for us to do the things that will truly make us happy. And when we give ourselves permission, and maybe as you listen to this, you need permission given to you, I'm going to give that permission to you now and let you know that it's okay for you to be selflessly selfish. And that is one of the most important things that we can do, not only for today, but that we can do for a lifetime. And when we pour into ourselves and we do the things that truly make us happy, and we set goals and we understand with true clarity what those goals are, it makes us so much more fulfilled and it actually gives us something to work towards every single day, even if we're only taking one step. Maybe for you, you want to go back to school, start a different career, and the excuse that you're telling yourself right now is you can't because, name something, you currently work full-time, you have a family to take care of, you have a house to take care of, you have the pets, you have the activities, like all the things. Those are just the excuses. And I know what that's like to hold those excuses and have those excuses that make up my, my block wall. And once we start to take those down and we start to articulate a plan because we now identify what that North Star is, then if we truly want something, I know that's cliche and we hear that all the time, but you don't really want something as bad as you say you do unless you're ready to put in the work and start to knock down some of those blocks. And a lot of that is very time constricting. A lot of that requires a lot of sacrifice and sacrifice might mean the things that you enjoy doing leisurely you might not get to do for a little while but I think holding on to the thought of knowing that it's not going to last forever and that the payoff is going to far exceed you know the the hard work that you're putting in is going to far exceed anything else in the end it makes it all well worth it so I would encourage you today to try to think on what your north star actually is and the best way for me to be able to ask you whether or not that North Star truly is what you should be aiming for right now is to ask if you would be willing to get over all of those blocks on your block wall that are preventing you from actually reaching or even seeing that North Star. And if the answer is no, then perhaps that's not the North Star that you should be aiming for right now. And if you're having a difficult time and you know you're stuck in a position like I was where you want to get out of it and you know that there is something better, there's something more, there's something else that you should be doing, that you could be doing that will make you feel more fulfilled, reach out to somebody. If it's not me, reach out to a pastor. If if religion is your thing, reach out to a friend, reach out to your spouse, have a one-on-one conversation with your kids, have a conversation to where you can get a little bit more insight from a third party, somebody who is outside of your frame of mind, who can give you a perspective that is different than your own, because it's difficult for us to see things that other people might notice or pick up. And it's very difficult for us to th- see things, especially that are, are grandiose, the, the great qualities about ourselves that a lot of the times we feel too humble to admit to ourselves, somebody else in your circle is going to be more than willing to point all of those things out to you. And as you listen, just know that you are more than deserving, more than worthy of having all of the things in your life that you have ever wanted and so, so much more. And in our next episode, I'm going to talk about momentum and how momentum actually ties in very, very strongly with achieving our North Star. So I hope you've gotten some value out of this episode. If you have, please do me a favor, subscribe, drop a a review down below, and know that I am sending you a long, tight hug from my home to yours.